What would you say was the most divisive issue when you started your journalistic career? Race, without without question. And do you think that's the same issue today? In many important ways, I do. I, I, uh, look, we, we have made some progress. In fact, in many ways, we've made a lot of it a lot of progress, but we still have a long way to go. I do think, and maybe I, I answer that question quickly because I mm-hmm. believe, I have long believed, and I still believe, and I'll go to my grave believing, that a thousand, two thousand years from now, whenever the history of the United States is written, that the last line will have to do with how we handle the question of our racial divisions. So when you say, you know, what what divides us more than any other single thing, I do think race is the answer. I respect other people, uh, other views, but that's my view. When you think about the fact that, because part of your distinguished career is you've had an opportunity to speak to every living president, uh, every president since Eisenhower. Um, But this particular president was very vocal about labeling himself a nationalist and the people who he associates with, either people who have supported him publicly or those who are part of administration, of his administration, supports this white supremacist ideals that have definitely shocked and alarmed a lot of people. Would you jump at the opportunity to speak with him during an official interview, or would you would you be a little hesitant towards giving him that time? No, I'm a reporter. I do. You know, I have interviewed him before he became president. Uh-huh. I have not interviewed him since he's become president. So I have to say now, I've interviewed every person, every man, because they all have been men. Uh-huh. Uh, every president since Harry Truman, you know, beginning with President yeah, yeah. Eisenhower. But in answer your question, uh, yes, I'm available to do an interview, <laughs> but I don't. Uh, somehow I don't think that's going to happen. 